In this video trade, let's talk about why you should take a small feeler position in a trade before taking a larger position. What's the point and what's the advantage of doing so? Stay tuned. Hey traders, one welcome to you. All right, so lots of uh, kind of bigger traders, you know, guys who are kind of really doing some serious size, 100 million plus guys who are managing funds uh, and etc. Talk about, and in fact, even kind of uh, very successful proprietary traders and, and retail traders, you know, talk a lot about taking a small position first. Now, what's the whole point of this and why do they say this? So what a lot of traders say is they say, hey, listen, listen, if my normal position is, let's just use a number, arbitrary number, it's a thousand share position, a uh, thousand lot position, whatever, whatever we're talking about is irrelevant, but let's just say that's a normal position. They might say, you know what? I decided to buy a hundred and see what happened. Now, what's the point in buying a hundred when you're going to buy a thousand? That's your risk. It's your risk because you know you're not going to make enough money to make that worthwhile trade. A ten percent trade is almost like, well, if I'm doing it, why am I even doing it? So, if a trade's so poor, the argument is a trade's so poor that you only want to risk a tenth of what you normally risk. It doesn't sound like a trade you should be risking anything at all. And that makes perfect sense, right? If you're risking normally risking a thousand pounds, say in your trade, and all of a sudden you're only prepared to risk a hundred, is it really a trade you should be risking anything at all in? Probably not. That's not the point though. Why they do it is this, and actually something that I do very occasionally, not so much, um, but I prefer, I think it's just very personal. It's a very personal thing, and it might be something for you to consider or not, depending on, on how you, you know, like to trade. But and the reason it's very personal, guys, is I feel I've got a quite a good, uh, for my strategy, and listen, guys, things change all the time. My strategy is working well. My price action strategy uh, works well for me. I have a good feel on price. Uh, before having any uh, trade on. This is a way for people to get a feel for price a lot better than just standing aside. So the theory behind it is this, when you've got no skin in the game, some people are uh, less in tune with the market. So they don't feel the ebbs and flows as much. And so they kind of feel they're a bit out of sync with it. And maybe you know, it doesn't work so well for them, they're studying something, they don't feel like they've got a good grip on what's going on. So the way they get around it, I love the hack, I love any kind of little hack like this to kind of make you think differently about stuff. This is just what trading's about, guys. It's very personal, getting over hurdles and dealing with them. It's to say, you know what, let's just put a small feeler position on. Let's just put a small tenth of my normal position on. And what that does is, let's say they're thinking long. Okay, you've got a stock, you've got a market doing this, blah, blah, blah. They're thinking, right, you know what? I think this is a long, I think I'm gonna to rip to the highs. Put a little feeler position on. Then no, now the point is, is that this then puts them some, gives them some skin in the game. So they're looking and watching this position. Yes, it's a small position, but it's that one step up from no position. So if you're struggling to get in tune with the market and feel its nuances with no position, then a small position just steps you over the line slightly so that you go, right, I'm gonna watch it now, I'm gonna feel it, I'm gonna see my p l moves i'm going to see how the price moves i'm watching it. i'm learning i'm understanding they feel like they're far more meshed in with conditions than there's a massive disconnect when they've got no skin in the game so it's a very clever way of kind of saying okay let's get some skin in the game but let's get some meaningless skin in the game that's when a 10 percent of your position is meaningless if it goes against you you get stopped out yes you no one wants to take any type of loss unnecessarily but it kind of get a feel for it they go you know what I don't like it, I'm gonna cover the position, or you know, I get stopped out. Or they go, yes, I like it, it's bullish, it feels right to me. Next day, I'm gonna add some more, I'm gonna to go to my full thousand share position, thousand lot position, whatever uh, number you're trading. And so it's a way of getting a feel for the market without committing fully. Now, of course, the downsides are, uh, you know, you might miss the setup. So if you've got a specific kind of process and setup you take, then just doing this might mean, let's say you're taking, I don't know, a breakout of this bull flag here, you're kind of going long at this level. You kind of missed it if you've just got a 10th of your position, right? You've gone in, the market's gone up, maybe there's no other opportunity. So it's gotta be for a very specific uh, kind of cluster of positions or, uh, or specific sequence of trades, if you like. So let's say you're bullish over a multi-day period, you're not quite sure, then you'd take a feeler see how it behaved and the dips and the, and the rallies and when they held and stuff and get a feel for price action and how it responded to highs and prior lows and VWAPs and closes and stuff. And then you might add your full line on over the next day for that three day trade. So it's very specific about the type of trade you're taking. No point taking a breakout on a 10th of position and then going, oh, I'm gonna chase it in my full lot. It doesn't make any sense because you end up just giving away all your profit and you end up chasing into the deal. But if you want to get a feel for how price is acting and kind of force yourself to be watching 
how price is moving, then taking a small feeler position might be something to consider. The secret with the feeler, as I mentioned guys, is it's small enough not to matter, but it's just enough so that you are paying attention to it. You can't just ignore it like a demo or ignore it like you've got no skin in the game and a chart you forget about, but it's definitely something you're gonna watch Definitely something you might get then a feel for, for how it's trading, and you might get more of a feel then and more um, of, an ins uh, of a commitment to commit more capital, or more of a desire to commit more capital because you felt it a bit more, you've understood it, and you're in tune with the price action. So something to try if you feel like you've got a bit of a disconnect sometimes between watching something and actually putting money in the skin in the game, there's a halfway house where you could go, you know what, I'm just gonna put a tenth of position, put a feeder on, a lot of traders do it and they seem to be very successful with it, put a little feeder on, get a feel for the market, get an idea of what it's doing and then make a decision whether to commit further capital or not. Anyway guys, take care, keep the risk manager, whatever you're doing, don't forget to check out our channel sponsor, uh, links to those guys in the description below. See you next one, take care, bye bye.